Hello. On behalf of Alpha Omega team, today I would like to take a few minutes to talk about parallel deviation, which is one of the element quality criterion. We're going to talk about the definition of parallel deviation, how to calculate it, and what is the acceptable limit. First, let's go ahead and see what does parallel deviation represent. Parallel deviation shows how much an element is deviated from ideal shape. It's pretty simple. Here we have a quad element. Parallel deviation for this perfect quad element is zero. If this perfect quad starts deviating, the edges starts deviating, then the parallel deviation is not zero anymore. And the more we have, the, the more deviated an element is, the less quality based on parallel deviation it will have. Now let's go ahead and see how can we calculate parallel deviation. Parallel deviation is computed using the following steps. Number one, ignoring mid side nodes, unit vectors are constructed in 3D space along each element edge, adjusted for consistent direction as demonstrated below. So first we need to go ahead and calculate Unit vector number 1, 2, 3, and 4, which easily can be calculated having the component of each node. Having the dot product of each, E1 and E2, and E3 and E4, comparing those two numbers with each other, we can have the maximum of, of them. Then what we need to do is going to calculate to see what angles cosine is giving us that value. That number is going to give us the angle for parallel deviation. Number two, for each pair of the opposite edges, the dot product of the unit vectors is computed. Then the angle in degrees whose cosine is that dot product. The parallel deviation is the larger of these two angles. In the illustration above, the dot product of the two horizontal unit vectors is 1, and the A cosine of 1 is 0. The dot product of the two vertical vectors is 0 0.342, and this is representing 70 degree. Therefore, this element's parallel deviation is 70. The best possible deviation for a flat rectangle, as we talked before, is 0. Now, what is the recommended parallel deviation? So based on your simulation, whether it is a CFD analysis or an FEA analysis, the parallel deviation that ANSYS or different software recommend is different. As a rule of thumb, we suggest to keep parallel deviation less than 100 degree. Of course, we have to make sure that we are avoiding having more than 100 degree in the areas of interest. Thank you very much for paying attention to this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels for further videos. Thanks for watching our video and hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.